Alright, put Cecil back onto the Ogre Axe and healed everybody up just a little bit. So we are ready to move on to the seventh floor, which if you remember was pretty much where we stopped in our last climb of the tower. Do we have new enemies on this side of the tower? Uh, we have a Queen Lamia, which is new, so I'm going to show this off just a little bit. We do try need to try to mini everybody if I can. Don't know... Don't know what's in the, uh... What am I doing? There he is. There's the chain drop. Come on, size! Work for me! Oh, and you charmed Edge. How nice of you. I didn't think they could do- Oh, that's right, it's only when they're pigs that they can't cast magic. Damn it, and you missed the attack on him as well. Uh, the reason that I always use the, uh the chain rod on the black cats is because they have a counter that can uh, completely decimate a party member, which is the bluster command. No, we can't have that. We can't have that. Holy crap, heal is 20? Yeah, there's bluster. I think socks. Don't let them use it on you. Alright, let's go for... Uh, let's actually call somebody. Uh, let's see, we've seen Chocobo, we've seen Titan, we've seen Shiva, we've seen the Mist Dragon. We have not seen Indra. Go, Indra. Stop hitting people, Edge. Go, Indra. I will have somebody smack you. I'll do it. Yeah, there's that bluster command again. There we go. Somebody hit him. He's going to have one more attack where he does hit somebody in our party. Uh, go, Indra. Really? Indra? That was clearly Ramu. Or Ramu, however you want to phrase it. And here we have spawned another Lamia, which uh, has already been minied. So they should go down fairly quickly. Go Cure 2. And we should be good here. We should be good. Using those crowd controls and, and half cheap tactics makes this a lot easier, I'll be honest. I, I, I do like using that. I did not think of that the first time I played it, let me tell you that, but I have learned. I have definitely learned. You get 2,150 gil for that fight, 2,112 experience. Right, yeah, gains a level as well. 2,112, 100 years after the end of the world. <laughs> Alright, so we're back here, and good lord, this place seems huge. I do see the treasure chest over there, so we are going to head that way first. Because I want what's inside of you. Oh, and we do have a new enemy here. We have an Iron Man. That hits pretty damn hard, so I'm going to try to mini him or something. Uh, no, not you. Not you. Down goes one of the black cats. Hopefully the other one will die as well. Come on, size. Work for me, size. If not... At least be piggied. Uh, he is piggy. Nice. Which means he can't cast magic, but I don't think he has any magic to cast. Uh, usually, Cecil and, and Kane can do a lot of damage on this guy. Yeah, he, you can't mini him, unfortunately. Go, Cecil! There we go. There's some massive damage. Nice, Cecil. You get 1,075 gil, 1,860 experience. No level ups, nothing nothing else important. Really, I just want what's in the treasure chest. Now game, can I have what- No, seriously, I still can't have what's in there. In this treasure chest, we get a cure too. Not worth all those random battles, to be honest with you, but it's there. So let's head west now, the only other way we can go, and head through the only door. With these guys in front. Alright, let's head inside then. And... what? What is here? What did we find? A new airship? Let's take this airship and get out of the tower. It's not yours. That's okay. It would, it would be happy to be used by us. The airship has emotions. Of course it would be happy. Of course it would. And... Yeah, isn't this a trap or something? Don't worry, I like this airship. Let's call it Falcon. How do you like that? Can I rename it at the naming way? Or is that a different game? 
Hurry ahead! Okay, okay, now go, Falcon! That's how you... That's how you make the airship go. You just tell it to go. And then it does what you say. That's clearly how this works. Clearly. I will not hear different from anybody about anything. You just say go when it goes. And we've made it out of the Tower of Babel. So we need to... Really? I can't even fly over the lava in this one. Fine. So we head to pretty much the only place that we know in the other world, which is the Dwarven Castle. Now I'm going to take this opportunity to uh, rest at the inn and uh, buy any more items that I might need, and I'll meet you right back here. All right, let's head up and we can talk to the king. Uh, we've been worried. Sure you have. Sure you have. How did it go? I'm afraid. Ah, see. Golbez is trying to force open the sealed cave. It's just a matter of time before he succeeds, so I want you to get the crystal before him. Luca! Once again, you do not know how to spell that name. What is it, father? Give me your necklace. This one? No, the other one. This is the very key to open the sealed cave. No one can enter the cave without it, so we're just going to open it up for Golbez. We must defend the last crystal at all cost. We'll do our best. We receive the Luca key. We'll counter the main forces of the enemy. You go to the sealed cave to the southwest. Okay, and well, we we can't do that right now. We have we we, we definitely can't do that because the airship doesn't go that way. So there must there must be a way to get our airship to go over magma. Isn't this, uh... Where is the nursery? It's been a long time. Where is the, uh... Yeah, they called it the nursery. It's such a bad name. Is it this one back here? It is, and here we find Sid. Sid, he made it. Food? How can these people eat such tasteless... Sid! You're okay. Good grief. Who's this chap? Apparently, Edge turned British on us for a second. Chap, you impertinent brat. Who do you think you are talking to? Who is this little nuisance? I'm Edge, the renowned Prince of Eblin. He is a prince, though his mouth portrays his nature. And handsome, skilled ninja as well. Oh, no, it's kind of hard to tell. He is injured. Don't anger him. Heading back to boy. Oh, shut up. So, Edge and Rydia? Really? By the way, what of Golbez? We've defeated all of his four fiends, but all the crystals except for the last one are now. We want to go get the last crystal, but the Enterprise is above on the upper world. We snatched an airship for the enemy, but it cannot fly over the magma. Aha! Now it's my turn! Can't do anything without me! We did the whole fucking tower, man. From, like, middle to top, from bottom to top. I, whatever, we did it all. But stay in bed, Lally. Wait until you heal, Lally. No. Oh, shut up and let me remodel the airship. We have no time to waste. What? He looks fine. Yeah. Yeah, he does. And that's kind of scary when Sid's... That, that, that okay? Does that mean he's going to try to join the party and somebody else dies? Is that what's going to happen? I don't want anybody else to die. I mean, we've lost so many. We've lost so many. Oh, yeah, let's drag the prince around. What? No, you can't start doing the spinny jump, prince. You're a ninja. You guys don't do spinny jumps unless you do flips. You don't do axles or... Sow cows or whatever the other ones are. That is not allowed. Only dwarves and Sid are allowed to do that. What? Damn, now they're playing Leapfrog. That doesn't seem to be working. Why is Edge like... So how? Where is that dwarf standing? How, how is he like levitating like that? And so I guess they're trying to imply like Edge is somehow the... Uh, 
expert on the Falcon because he got to name it? Name it? Now you can fly over the magma. Thank you. Sid. Did he die? No, he's he's just asleep. He must have been very tired. He has overworked himself. Thanks, Sid. So we need to head out of here with Sid incapacitated again. I don't know. Yeah, let's go this way. We need to get back to the Falcon. That we have a new, now that we have a new airship because the Enterprise is above ground. We need a new one for the underworld. So we have the Falcon. I already bought everything that I need. We do have plenty of cabins. I'm a little low on a uh, on tents, but that should be fine. Let's get back on to the Falcon, and now we can fly over magma. Hooray. But uh, here's where we need to go. This is the sealed cave. But instead of going there, we are going to head here first to the little town outside, as you normally would do. So we've made it to the town of Tomra. Yeah, you usually want to go to the town first because they tell you everything you need to know. Where'd you come from, Lally Ho? Don't call me a Lally Ho. You're a Lally Ho. Is the ocean on the upper world really blue? Yeah? That's gross. This is magma. No, something in the cave on the northwest island leads to the land of summoned monsters. I was told I needed to go there by a uh, by a ghost in well underground baron, I guess you could say. And we've made it to the inn. The cave of fairies called Sylph is at the northwest end of this land. I forgot how bad the translations are. Okay. Sure, why not? Sylphs are afraid of us, but we are nice, you see? Sure, you guys are all nice. You have a lot of beds. A lack of doors? So, uh, how is this not a hostel? But I guess you can call it an inn if you want to. Uh, there's your item shop. I assume they don't have anything different. They haven't had anything different this whole time. I can't go that way, really? I don't think I've talked to you yet. Lally ho? No, it's hi ho in here. What? It's not even Lally Ho. It's Hi Ho. Wow, a customer. Yeah, you should help me on the floor. I g Fine, I guess you guys don't have anything on the floor. Everything's back here. What do you have? Another middle sword. Uh, I do not need that because I am using the boomerang. The ogre axe is incredibly expensive. Holy crap. Okay, so let's put the uh, the chain whip. Let's get that. We can sell off the regular whip. And then... Um, I do need a ton of archer arrows. Ah, crap, what am I doing? Mute arrows. Yeah, hold on, let me let me fix what I just did. Alright, so I lost a shit ton of money there, but that's okay. Wow, he just straight walked through the secret passage. Is there anything in the middle here? No? You're not supposed to give away secret passages like that, dude. Maybe it's just me, but nothing that relevant here in the secret passage. But let's take a look at the armor that they have. They have diamond equipment. Holy crap. Okay, so I'm going to need two of those. Luckily, I do have a lot of money because I did level up a bit. Um, yeah, two of those. Two of those. And two of those. Also require two of those. And I believe three of these diamonds as well. Do have enough money for all of that. Thanks to the level grinding. Now let me equip that. Sell off everything that I don't need. With that done, we are actually done in this town for the most part. Is there anybody else to talk to? We've done everything important, though. Not, not that great of a town, to be honest with you. Don't even say lally ho. What do you have to say about this? Hi ho. Came from... Really from from the upper world. Where is that? Up part of upper world, don't you understand? Right, let's get you out of the way so I could go in there eventually. Damn you're fast! Hi ho, anything ha really that's all you have to say? Anything happened at the castle? Yes! A lot of things happened. Uh what's up? Glad you came this far. Take whatever you want. I'm a farmer. Good for you. Found 490 gil gil. Uh cure two, four hundred and seventy more gil. 
480 more, another cabin, cure two, and that looks like it's it. Let's just double check for secret passages. There probably aren't going to be any, but always worthwhile checking. Always worthwhile checking. Yeah, a little storehouse up there. Don't miss it. Uh, that's, that's actually something I missed many times. Okay, we talked to him. I still can't go that way. How do I get in there? You're not going to tell me, are you, game? You're not going to tell me. I guess I just don't get in there. No? Fine. I didn't want it in your stupid house anyway. So we are done here in the town of Tomra. Tomra. I don't know how to say it. So we need to head just straight over here to our next destination, which we will enter next time. That's going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. I have been Baller Scuba. I've been joined, as always, by my emotional squad of Radia Kane, Rosa, Cecil, and Edge. When we come back, we will head into this cave and we'll find the last crystal, hopefully. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.